Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Red It Up is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Red It Up episode three, recorded Wednesday, August 13th, 2014. Robin Williams, Wi Fi hacking cats, dancing baby Groot. Help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. Visit twit.tv slash Amazon. Click on the Amazon banner and shop as usual. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps support Twit. That's twit.tv slash Amazon and thanks for your support. to Reddit Up. This is the show that covers Reddit in all of its glory. We talk about the news, the memes, the happenings, the conversation, the community, all that on Reddit Up. I'm Chad Johnson. And I'm Sarah Lane. If you're not familiar with Reddit, where have you been hiding? It's sort of the place where the internet begins in many aspects, really, where memes are born, as Chad mentioned, and uh, a lot of news. A lot of news happens on Reddit and a lot of the way that the internet kind of evolves. Yeah. Reddit is sort of this little universe where it starts and then it yeah. it moves out from there. Yeah. And often people don't realize that Reddit was where a lot of this stuff started. So yeah. this is our attempt to make uh, the most of this wonderful community. Absolutely. And share it with all of you. Absolutely. I just also just like, it's just a good slice of people on the internet that it's just, it's a great way. To, it's kind of like how maybe you, if you're good on Twitter and you follow a lot of people on Twitter, you can always tune in to see what's going on. Same thing with Reddit, it, except that you don't have to actively follow people at all. It just kind of happens on on uh, subreddits and stuff like that. There are sort of Reddit superstars. You know, like oh, some yeah, people are just totally. really good at tweeting. And you're like, ah, everything that guy says is so funny. Yeah. There, there are certain there are certain people who kind of help the 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 the, the uh, ebb and flow. Of the ebb and yeah. flow. Yeah. And certain subreddits. And yeah, well, we've got all sorts of time to talk about all of that stuff. This is only episode three, a brand new show here on Twit. Uh, Chad and I are having a really good time. Mm -hmm. So thanks to everybody for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get into our top stories. These these are top stories that were were voted on Upvoted. by the Reddit community. Basically, if you missed this week, here's what you missed. Exactly. Sure, starting off with uh, this story that I really like a lot, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of other people on Reddit did too. Smart caller turns your cat into a Wi-Fi hacking weapon. The story was submitted by Darius Carrot. Now it sounds maybe a little bit more nefarious than it really is. The the the. Here's, here's the story. All right, so uh, an engineer, security engineer named Jane Bransfield developed something called War Kitta. Like War kitty, kitty, but you know, Kitta. He actually um, showed it off at DEF CON, which is a conference, security conference uh, that took place in Las Vegas last week. So it's a collar that a cat wears, but it is a scout for Wi Fi hackers because it has a spark core board which can map wireless networks that right. are in the area, basically sniff them out. And, you know, if your cat is sort of wandering around, obviously your cat has to be an outside cat looking for mice or gophers or whatever his cat does, you can then, it's almost as if you're prowling it's, around right. the neighborhood, but you don't have to do that because you're not a cat and you don't jump over fences very easily. <laughs> no. So it's like... You don't really go into the neighbor's yard all that often as a human. Or if you do, you're probably going to be, you know, arrested. <laughs> yeah. So this is, it, you know, the, the, he, he, he has a whole sort of write-up about the fact that this is... You know, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but it actually is something that can be used in a variety of ways. And just, you know, it's just kind of thinking of security outside yeah. the box. If you want to get really technical, uh, this is just a tiny fact that I have running around in my brain, is that male cats will actually claim more territory than female cats. Sure. Cause female they're... cats will stay to a yard or two, but male cats will, like, roam the whole neighborhood and claim a huge area. Well, uh, you know, from what I understand. Well, it depends on the cat, and the, yeah. you know, oh, there's, that there, there are things <laughs> that can curb that somewhat. But you're right. right. For, for the most part, the male cats are the ones that are out fighting. Right. So and... if you're going to hack, make sure that you do it correctly and attach to a male cat. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds very weird, but uh, sure does. <laughs> so let's talk about solar power. Okay. Everyone loves solar power. I certainly do. It's free. It's free. Well, once you get it up Ish. and running, anyway. Ish, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. There are the definitely a big debate over if if a solar panel. I mean, it's uh, currently not as cheap. 
per watt at the moment. Big investment up front. All right, it's a huge investment up front, and, and uh, absolutely. So uh, this was upvoted by Redditor, or uh, submitted by uh, Husa Kawi uh, to World R slash World News that China will install more solar this year than the U.S. Ever has interesting, and this was submitted. Uh, this was uh, mentioned. This is from the Chinese government that says that they um, have added 3.3 gigawatts of solar capacity uh, for the next six months to a year, ending in June. That's almost 30th. twice as much as 1.21 gigawatts. I know. If you think <laughs> about it, they could go. To, twice they could go to uh, to space or, or space oh, to the past. Doc would Back be so thrilled. Oh, man. Yeah. I, well. So, and Australia is the is the second uh, largest, and they currently have uh, uh, I think three point two gigawatts uh, for oh, that's where we, yeah uh, um, yeah for all of Australia. And I knew Australia was really big into it. It's funny because a lot of there's the also a hole in the ozone layer above Australia. That's not the only place in the world, oh, wow. but you th you think of it. I mean that that causes all sorts of problems. But if you're going to harness sun that is stronger, <laughs> it's kind of like. Eh, at least they're, you know, working with what they got or what yeah. they don't got. Yeah. All right, moving on. This one's awesome. Uh, Chad, we've already established that you're not a Game of Thrones watcher. No. I am one. But uh, the, the, the article in question actually has more in common with you because this was a study that was put together by a woman named Jordan Sh Shimmerhorn. She's a global health graduate student. And what she decided to do, because uh, uh, for her studies, she's... Um, looking at comparing, say, uh, you know, uh, mortality rates in different countries, right. and you know uh, how how all of uh, depending on where you live and what you're eating and the you know the, the amount of smog and all that stuff, right. uh, how those would differ. She said, well, she decided to compare the people who live in the Game of Thrones world in Westeros to actual places like Afghanistan, which has the world's <laughs> highest mortality rate, and Japan the world's lowest. And among other things, it's, it's really great. Uh, there's a, a whole uh, a bunch of uh, slides that she put together um, at, on her own uh, WordPress blog. But if you actually look specifically at Game of Thrones, and by the way, I guess you could kind of say there's some spoilers here. She doesn't mention anyone specifically oh, by yeah, name, right. but she does talk about certain houses, House Stark, House Targaryen, blah, blah, blah. But Game of Thrones, in general, is more dangerous to live in than Afghanistan. Of course, yeah. this is coming from a census in 2012. At the age of five, everybody's pretty much alive. Game of Thrones, 97.8%. Population still alive. Afghanistan, 90.1%. Japan, almost 100%. Wow, isn't All that right. crazy? Yeah, let's come down to about age 40. Well, by age 40, half the people uh, in the Game of Thrones world are dead. Half of them. Yeah, they're just out. They're just out of there. Uh, Afghanistan's still holding strong at about 80.5. And then, of course, Japan, 98.3, because it's just a healthy bunch of mofos over there. Once you get to 70 <laughs> years old, pretty much everybody's dead in Game of Thrones. There's just nothing, nobody left. Afghanistan is uh, down at 46.9%, and Japan holding pretty steady at 85.8, so and so on. So basically, if you're in your 20s, Afghanistan is nicer to stay in than, uh, than the world of Game of Thrones. But after your 20s, Afghanistan is much better place for you to live. It's a, pre it's a pretty, pretty bleak situation uh, for Game of Thrones. By the way, that was submitted uh, to Reddit by Indiegoes. And we'll have the link in our show notes. There are a lot of other fun little factoids. You know, she yeah. said, I thought that because there were so many, you know, more, more men watching the wall, for example, I'm not going to spoil anything. Maybe that would factor in. But no, men and women characters alike slaughtered. Right. Slaughtered. And I'm kind of amazed. George R. R. Martin's universe. Yeah, George R. R. Martin has, like, so many different <laughs> ages for her to go off of to, right, to yeah. pull these, these it's good times. comparisons. Yeah. Thank goodness you're doing something productive with your college life. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So I have a, this is from r slash gifts. So I have a gift for you, but this isn't some sort of parasite. Okay. This isn't some sort of bodily disease. Okay. This is what it looks like when two humans kiss from the inside of one of the human's mouths. Oh my goodness. Isn't that Disgusting. Where are the tongues? Uh, oh, I see. This is just like this a. Is just this a is just a. Yeah. This is just a. Hey. Yeah. That kind nah. of thing. Here, let me. Wait. Can we go full screen again on that? It is almost. 
exciting. I, I would, <laughs> what? Um, okay, I would want to see what this looks like from the outside. Like, what did what did this kiss look like with a guy with a with a camera <laughs> and like stuck it. in his mouth? <laughs> Weird. It's super weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, he has a camera in his mouth. Or he has she, a camera in his mouth. Hard to say, really. You can't tell. Looks like it's... And are they kissing like... I think that's, that may not be what a kiss really would have been like because obviously this is for demonstration right. purposes. It is gross, though. <sighs> super weird. And yet I can't look away. And that was uh, from gifts. Australia Boy. Good times. 15. All right, a paper cut Rob submitted this next one to Reddit. Love it. Well-dressed animals with rap quotes. Why do I love it? Because it's well-dressed animals with rap <laughs> quotes. For example, panda holding a pipe. The crown is still mine because I drop ill rhymes. Or how about the walrus? That's no, not a walrus. Yeah, it is. No, that's a otter. Oh, how about this otter <laughs> with the with the hat and the and the green outfit? No one on the corner has swagger like us. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Or that this. thing, <laughs> what whatever is that it? is, no one some knows. sort of a sloth, I think it's right? A sloth, yeah. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. That's I love why it, Reddit is the best place in the universe. It's bare. If my hands in the cookie jar know one thing, I'ma take the cookie. <laughs> that was wrapped by Smokey the Bear. Koala. Mask on face, Glock in hand. I was in and out of homes like the Orkin man. Man, this is, uh, I just want more well-dressed animals to say stuff to me at any moment. It's like the cat who says, I should buy a boat. Yes. You know, you know that one. No. No. That's okay. a good one. Okay, good one. Good yeah. one. I'll you just guys know. take your word on it. You know what Started else? Started on Reddit, I'm sure. Uh, every once in a while, you know, you browse the internet, you get a little bored, you want to just chat with someone. Yep. Um, well, uh, someone you and I may know uh, started chatting with uh, with a girl, and uh, his his uh, consensus is the same as mine that I think that she's into him. Uh, we can actually uh, take a look at this because uh, it was submitted to R slash Funny. Uh, you're in my favorite uh, Groot character uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Says uh, I am Groot uh, to this uh, female. And uh, she uh, is really into him. You can tell. Right, yeah. If you're on the audio version, all Groot says is, I am Groot, because that's uh, what he does. And man, she's just, oh, I'm feeling, uh, you know, you, you have to register, duh. You can add me and send me a request. Maybe I'm ugly, you think so? I am Groot. Oh, that's, oh, that's sweet. sweet. Want, Want to meet? meet? I am Groot. <laughs> So it's it's a person talking to a bot, most likely, which is probably. But the person not... sounds more robotic than the bot, right? And it's obvious. Like the question is, I guess, on many. I I don't frequent these sites. Is are you talking to a person sure. or a bot? And this is obviously a bot. Pretty so. obviously. Pretty funny. Now it is time for our video ad break. And uh, this week, uh, on Monday, an anonymous user, we don't know who this guy is, by uh, the username of P. Delahanty, posted mm. a video of a dancing baby Groot, we're gonna stick with the Groot theme, uh, made by him and his fiance. The next day, the video was on the front cover of USA Today, BuzzFeed, MTV.com, and dozens of other sites. Uh, go ahead and check out this amazing video. And have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy? I haven't, no. Um, however, I have been told that this character is very beloved and that this is a cute little version of what is so great about the movie. I don't know, Chad. You know how I feel about space. Space? You don't like space? I don't know how you feel about space. Mm. Nah, eh, meh, mm. eh. Our planet is so vast as it is. Who needs space? Well, cute, cute though. Cute, very cute. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the end of the movie, this, is, this makes a big appearance. And we actually have it here because we flew out the creator at, <laughs> no, at, at huge expense to read it up. Uh, the creator is right. here, Patrick Delahanty. Blew our Delahanty. budget for the year. Uh, yeah, completely, just uh, all out, just for you guys. How are you doing, Patrick? Pretty good. Thanks yeah. for having me. Uh, now, what? There's some unsubstantiated uh, rumors that you actually work here at Twit. Do, can you confirm or deny? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, like, I do. You gave do up work that here. goose oh. pretty quick. <laughs> oh crap! Oh <laughs> darn! Uh, Patrick does work with us. Yes. <laughs> now, this the, I have to say that Patrick, I I initially was like, eh, what what's, what is this? what's going on here? I don't understand. It is the most beloved thing that has ever entered the Twit Brick House. I feel like every single person who's familiar with this movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, absolutely loves it. So, how did you make it? Uh, Wait, can you demonstrate? I want to see. Yeah, it. yeah. Go. Here we can. Uh, I mean, we just saw the video, but 
So. So. <laughs> so you're playing the music it. from. Yeah. It, is it, does it have to be an iDevice or really uh, any? Anything. Okay. Anything, with a, anything with anything with audio. It doesn't even have to be this song. No, I can play any old song. No, keep it on this one, okay. though, please. Um, <laughs> look at him go. He's pretty cute. So I, I uh, when I saw the movie, I thought, I can huh. easily make one of these. I was originally thinking a puppet. Yeah. But then I remembered the dancing flowers they used to have in the 80s. I remember those too. I started looking yeah. at the different types and found one on eBay that looked like it would dance well. So I bought it, ripped off the flower. Probably turn off the music before we get sued. <laughs> yeah. His little eyes, oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, I ripped off the flower part, covered it in felt and twine with wire. And uh, my fiance sculpted the head. That's so I painted cool. the head, I painted the body, and. Did you think it would get this popular? No. No. no idea. I yeah. thought, oh, this is just a neat little thing. My friends right. will be amused. Right. And and you do you've done this for like you've had experience making props and yeah. you go to tons of yeah I do some props and right. costumes and very cool. So now how do you mass market this and get really rich? Yeah. How, wh what and are how the do you do it been? quick? Um, I would get sued instantly by Marvel. <laughs> oh, right. They also know about this. Did so, they contact you or something? No, like that? Oh. but uh, they were like, "We know." I, I, I've seen people show that show it to people yeah. at Marvel on Twitter. Yeah. It's like, all right, thanks for that's really bringing neat. attention to it. But. Right, right. Well, I mean, you're not getting any monetary value no, out of no. this. But um, I've gotten offers, and everybody on YouTube says, "Shut up and take my money." Right. So I'm never saying that again. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, that is really, really cool. Um, what has? What's the weirdest thing that's come out of it so far? Any weird offers, weird emails, weird comments? Or um, I think the highest the offer I've gotten uh, is two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, How much does it cost you? The the flower what would the profit was, be? The flower was twenty seven dollars, and it's probably ten dollars worth of materials. That's cool. So nice margin. Nice yeah. margin. Think yeah. about it. But then Black sued. market. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. that'll take time. You can do, Mexico <laughs> is pretty nice. You know, this time sometimes it's just about building something cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. Really it's not about the money. Very neat. Very well, Patrick, neat. thanks for uh, coming on the show and oh, telling us a little bit more about it. Yeah. And cool. uh, I'm sorry that we flew you out, considering that you work here. Yeah. What a waste of money. Well, you flew me open to SFO, so it was... <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Whatever. Right. Uh -oh. we'll, try, we'll try harder next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> thanks, Patrick. Thanks yep. for showing off. Cute little group. So, Chad, yes. uh, let's move on to uh, the AMA portion of this show. Now, AMA, of course, means Ask Me Anything. This is a big part of Reddit, where people, celebrities, actors, uh, scientists, all sorts of people who are, are experts in, in a field or, or interesting to the public at large uh, can answer questions that are submitted by the Reddit community. And this week was a different type of week. We're actually going to cover uh, something that doesn't normally happen. Because, uh, as many of us know, uh, uh, Robin Williams passed away. Yes. And not too long ago, he actually did an AMA. Ten months. Ten months Wasn't ago. Wasn't even a year. And so the community, in response, upvoted his AMA from ten months ago. And they upvoted it so much that it, it arrived back onto the front page. Right. Of, uh, Which slash. is very, I could see, it's a very, very Reddit way to honor oh, totally, somebody. Totally. It also was a really good AMA. It was an amazing AMA. Because he's funny and answered questions right. and was very forthcoming. And we thought we'd just share a couple of those now. Um, uh, the title of it was, uh, his, his username on Reddit was Robin Williams here. And the title was Robin Williams. It's time for a convoluted stream of consciousness. Ask me anything. Uh, and then Apatcher Cakes asks, what is your favorite book? We, uh, what were your favorite things to do as a child? And what still gives you a sense of wonder? Robin Williams here answers, my children give me a great sense of wonder just to see them develop into these extraordinary human beings. And a favorite book as a child growing up, it was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I would read the whole C.S. Lewis series out loud to my kids. I was once reading to Zelda, that's one of that's uh, his daughter, mm -hmm. and she said, "Don't do any voices. Just read it as yourself." So I did. I just read it straight, and she said, "That's better." Oh I man, know. so good. X D X A X V X O X uh, asks, uh, "Hello, Mr. Williams. I just wanted to say congratulations on being a recovered alcoholic. You keep." Uh, 
You keep strong, my man. I wanted to ask, would you change how things turned out with your alcoholism, or did your experiences from that shape who you are now? Robin how Williams here answers, they definitely shaped how I am now. They really made me deeply appreciate human contact and the value of friends and family, how precious that is. Yes, yeah. um, and I can truly, uh, great answer. Um, my father is also a recovered alcoholic, uh, for, for, uh, over 20 years sober. And so um, that one really touched deeply. Um, uh, what, uh, this was from Casa Swack, as uh, what, uh, I, I wept. wept. Yeah, I wept uh, like an emotional, disturbed infant when I watched What Dreams May Come. What was the most valuable thing you learned about uh, your acting from that movie? Robin Williams here answers that every moment in life is precious. That the gifts of your relationships with others don't miss it. That was one of the hardest movies I think I ever did in my whole career. Every day was literally hell because of the nature of the subject matter, dealing with death, and being in hell literally. That is, I mean, that is so heavy. Yeah. All things, you know, it, it is anyway, but just, yes. you know, under the circumstances. Um, I would like to move on before I get too emotional. I know, I know. I really looked up for Robin Williams. Okay. And I'm very... Upset. We do have some AMAs coming up uh, over the next week. Reddit is pretty good about letting us know who's 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 on deck for an AMA, and that way yeah, you can always read them. They don't go anywhere. But if you want to ask a question, they're at specific times. Cannonball Run record holder Ed Bolian uh, is doing a uh, uh, AMA on August 14th. Also that same day, August 14th, Internet Explorer Engineering Team. <laughs> uh. Yeah. What would you, I, I, yeah. I, I'd be like. One of the things that this week. Why, that just we, why? We didn't cover was the Twitch CEO did an AMA and that was, I'm imagining that this AMA is going to be about the same tone, which was everything is screwed up. Why is nothing fixed? And that's what I imagine the Internet Explorer's engineering team. It's just AMA like, that's, like. That, that's, that's a thankless AMA. Yeah. I yep. mean, what are you going to ask the IE engineering team? Yeah, that's like, hey, I'm a uh, Comcast phone screen. Actually, that might be a really... Actually, I think they did that. I'm a, I work at a call, Comcast call center. I ask me anything. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, finally, on August 21st, which is one week from uh, the time of this recording, uh, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell. Perfect. That's pretty cool. I can't wait. That's All right, cool. Chad, are you ready to feel good and fuzzy I'm and so warm? ready to feel the awes. Let's go to the awe of the week. Oh, oh my God. Buddy. So fluffy. Like, Not fluffy, that? but still very cute. That's a hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. Looks it's like, like he he's high-fiving. Yeah. Oh, Pugsley is <laughs> how old. Uh, hard to say. He's be old. He's be old. Oh my. Oh wow. That's not that's kind of disconcerting. <laughs> I saw that one. So that looks like Riff Raff's puppy. Oh my god. Oh. Somebody likes Disney. Wow. Oh, super cute. I love that. Yeah. Love I the needed that. Hey, you know what we wanted to ask all of you to do? If you happen to buy things from Amazon on a regular basis and like Reddit Up and the whole Twit network and think to yourself, you know, if there was some way I could just browse Amazon and buy the things I already buy and still help Twit, well, there is. Woo you can actually go to twit.tv slash Amazon. From that link, you'd simply browse Amazon as you normally would, uh, but there's a, like a little bit of a referral thing going on, mm -hmm. and so you kind of help. Uh, keep the lights on here in the Twit Brick House. Help put help put bread on our table. Bread on our table. Bread on our table. Bring the bacon. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. something like One of that. Those. Whatever you like yeah. to whatever you like to eat. No prices on Amazon. Eating as well. Change and no, no. cost you nothing. No. Um, do you want to say uh, this is a kind of a fun excuse? Do you want to see what I bought on Amazon recently? Yes. Okay. So this is, You're this a brave is maybe man. some yeah this is some uh, some inspiration for you to buy and, and maybe uh, help support Twit a little bit. Uh, this uh, thumb saver it's a magnetic uh, nail uh, holder so you can nail uh, the, the the thumb saver and you, well, I don't I have no idea what that is. You, you, okay, so it has a magnet on it and uh, it holds the nail there. That way it can, you can hold that instead of the oh, nail. Oh, look at you, you're yeah. such a handyman. Yeah, look at that. Uh, next would be just a, a lamp, just a plain old lamp. And once it loads in, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Well, so, there's a hey, lamp in there. There's a uh, there's a lamp and a nail saver, so uh, a thumb saver. Just so. two things you can buy on Amazon. Two we'll be back Twilight next paper week is another more. one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. Twit.tv slash Amazon. You can bookmark the page. Uh, there are also links for Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, if you happen to live in either the US or the UK or Canada. But uh, but in any case, thanks so much in advance. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks for Appreciate you helping us out. So, moving on to the subreddit of the week. We like to highlight a subreddit, a great community that has some cool things to offer that maybe you haven't heard of yet. This week's subreddit is Depth Hub. Depth Hub is a place for people to sort of uh, keep a catalog of some of the best answers to stuff. Um, uh, that you've ever seen. There's a, another uh, subreddit called uh, uh, Thread Killers, which I really love, but that's specifically for Ask Reddit threads. Um, like, Ask Reddit threads, they get asked a lot, and like, okay, we're done, this is the answer that you're looking for. But Depth Hub is more, it's similar to that in that the, it, the answers are really expansive, really thorough. Mm. You're not going to jump in here and it's not like mildly interesting where you can like see something and it's like, oh, that's great, and move on. You're gonna kind of skim through, find a thing that you really wanna know uh, about and then be consumed for about 25 minutes as you read probably the longest comments in history uh, on Reddit. So as an example, uh, this is uh, hurricane... Uh, hurricane. Hur hurricane. Like hurricane angst. Hurricane, hurricane angst. angst. Uh, explains how Fifty Shades of Grey went from a Twilight fan fiction to a movie deal. And if you just brow, if you just, just check out this thread, Ugh. it is super duper huge, talking about drama in the community, how, uh, how the Twilight fan fiction community works, you know, backstory on... You know, how one thing led to another. I mean, it, 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 this thing is just amazing. You can sit here. It's like a mini novel on kind of a, a, a obscure subject that you would have no other information. It's almost where people go to almost air their laundry. You're right. This This one like, specifically. I know so much information about this topic. I need to put it somewhere. Yeah. I need someone to appreciate yeah. it. That's... That's uh, that's where Depth Hub comes Depth in. Depth Hub comes in, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And so, and it doesn't have to be specifically on r slash Depth Hub. In, in fact, normally they're going to link you to another subreddit where something was answered and people are just like, this this needs to be cataloged. This, there needs to be a place for this to live. So you can see uh, a whole bunch of uh, different articles here. Um, like ASCII explains why CPU clock frequency has little to do with the CPU performance. Oh boy. Uh, like that. That's gonna be a yeah. really cool yeah. thing to sit down and read, and you can see that this is a this is like very... the Reddit version of the coworker who shall not be named, that you know starts telling me these stories, <laughs> and I like start like walking out of the the company kitchen. You're like okay, and then it's, 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 cool story, it just bro. keeps getting louder, you know, yeah. and and the person maybe kind of like shuffles along with me because yeah. he just want me to miss the end of the story. Right, and you you're getting in your car and driving away. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, out. I'll see you tomorrow. Like, okay, Thank bye. you so much for fixing my computer. So that's r slash Depth Hub. Uh, I've, I've, it's really cool. I'm just kidding, by the way. Going to kill a few minutes. Nobody here talks too much. <laughs> Ah. Hey, so should we move on to Ask Reddit? Yes! That is uh, the, uh, this is something that actually happens within the Reddit community where a question is asked. Anybody who's participating mm -hmm. on Reddit, anybody at all, gets to answer. Right. And the questions are kind of fun. Oh yeah, they're all Kind of silly. Funny. So uh, this week it was, which famous movie quote can you ruin by adding one word to it? My favorite one was uh, James Bond. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best part of James Bond, James Bond, is the username PME, your left butt. <laughs> PME, your left butt. As in, like, private message want me. To like, see what? your left butt. Uh, we also uh, uh, have I see dead people pooping. <laughs> That's from Norm's FUD. Obviously, a reference to the sixth sense. Yep. Uh, I'm Groot Beer. I'm Groot Beer. See, uh, so. Groot so, Beer? Groot Beer? Oh, okay. Like right. Root. Beer. Right, we're right, right. from beer. Ed's Pity. Guardians of the Galaxy, man. I gotta go see that movie this oh, weekend. Oh my gosh. Shoot, or, I haven't seen it, actually. 
You, so, okay, uh, thank you. I was you. faking the whole thing. Oh, God, I don't you're care. You're very good. Yeah, you're man. very good. You know, those uh, improv classes are really paying really off. Really good, yeah. Uh, don't, do not really care, it's the username, I submitted. Um, how about I'll, I'll be okay, Princess okay. Leia and you be Han Solo. Sounds good. I love you. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I know. Oh, I know, right? Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. No, I, I thought it was... Chad! I thought it was... Right? I thought it was like, I don't know. Like, I know. Right? Gosh. Okay. I know, right? What do with you? Okay, dang it. Sorry. All right. You so want to hear my answer or I would do you like want to go first? No, no, you go first. Okay, so... I like mine. Uh, mine is... Uh, uh, you had me at Hello Kitty. <laughs> Good you one. had me at Hello Kitty. Okay, mine is p p equally dumb. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom fries. I <laughs> guess <laughs> <laughs> like, it rhymes. That's that was, why I liked it. Yeah. I just made that up on the fly. Uh, That's how good I am. That was really good. Thank you. That was really good. All right, so moving on to... Today... Oh, oh. Uh, T-I-L. Today yeah. I learned. Today I learned. That's what T-I-L stands for. You ever see people say T-I-L? It's sort of, it's, it's becoming right. this thing. In fact, I got a... Uh, uh, AOL instant message because I still use that service. No way. True story. Well, I run it through iMessage. Okay, okay. But it's like I just have some you friends have every, who are just like that's list. that's just why not yeah. still talk to each other that way. Anyway, one of my friends uh, wrote a TIL. She found out that there was like a Twin Peaks themed karaoke bar in Austin, Texas. What? And I was like, that's crazy. And I know what TIL means yes. because of Reddit. Anyway, uh, that's so, not what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about other today. Right. So uh, we like to wrap up the show with these because they're just so fun. Yes, today, fun. I learned that when you look at the sky and see dots and swirls, it's not an illusion. It's actually the shadows of the white blood cells reflecting off your retina. Have Ooh. you ever done that? Have you ever just kind of sit there and stared at this? No, because aren't you supposed to not do that, or you go no, not blind? at the no, 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 not the sun. Oh, just like at an open blue sky, and you see swirls. After a while, after a while, maybe if like, I've eaten mushrooms. When I was a child, <laughs> I uh, like Usually I was just on the playground, okay. just like staring up, you know. And it looks like there's air pollution after a while, of just like weird swirls. Oh, and... maybe I ought to look at the sky more often. Yeah, I mean, if I hit my head really hard, sometimes I see like. <laughs> You know, where you're like, that's so, what is that? I don't know. That, I don't, are you talking about, like, I see, like, little, those little, like, almost, like, fireflies. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. I don't see yeah. those unless I'm... I don't know what those are. Like, I don't, lightheaded or something. Yeah, I don't know what those are. What are they? I bet it's, like, are the rods and angels? cones of your eyes just exploding. Yeah, like, exactly. It's done. It's basically your body saying, you're about to pass out. It is what it is? Yeah, they're called phosphines. They're called phosphines. Do they come back? Um, or are they dead? Is that, like, the ringing in your ears? It's just your, they're just... Oh, they're just freaking out. Like, because uh, I know the ringing in your ears, uh, maybe today you will learn this, uh, whenever you hear that in your ear, yeah. that's that uh, thing dying. Yeah, it's and the frequency that, that, that you'll never hear again. Yep. It's very awful, actually. Yeah, I, thought, I, I get that all the time because yeah. I listen to music too loudly. Moving on, TIL, today I learned, Disney World is the second largest buyer of explosives in the United States of America. Who is the largest? The U.S. military. <laughs> I, I also Disney World second place. Disney World, they might don't also let them beat you. Disney more um, bug killer. I think they're like the biggest. I don't know. Oh, because Talking in Florida bugs. there's a lot of bugs, but right. you don't want to get so mosquito bites. I they think, want you to stay at Disney World. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Today I learned that the giant uh, tortoise failed to get a scientific name for 300 years after its discovery because it was so delicious that no one could bring it back, bring back a specimen back to Europe without eating it. And that includes Darwin himself. This tortoise didn't get named because it couldn't be brought to London because everyone ate it before they got it back. Okay, time traveler trousers 10 who submitted this. I'll take your word for it, but I don't know. I saw- This is an iffy T-I-L, I-M-O. I, I, so I would have agreed, but this was also on, um, uh, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the actor's name and I really like this actor. Uh, he has a television show on uh, British television and this was uh, when he submitted it. It was a video link to that where they All were right. explaining it. So the television series, which is a big one in, in um, uh, London, uh, was uh, vetted this fact, apparently. All right. I didn't know okay. that you'd have to bring something back to London to get it scientifically named. It seems like they could just come up with a Latin name for it without taking it to London. Oh, well, maybe there at one point that was 
you Could know, no one just it was sketch the official it? register yeah. was in, you know. Maybe. Couldn't they sketch Notting it and Hill. say like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Notting Hill. <laughs> Stephen Fry. Stephen was Fry, like, and it was on Kensington, QI. Kensington, yes. perhaps. Thanks. Mikey R. Said, it was a Stephen Fry. Ah, uh, Stephen, Fry's Stephen Fry, of course. Uh, the Juice 32 submitted this TIL. <clears throat> TIL, that there was a planned but unmade episode of Doctor Who in which an alien would attach itself to J.K. Rowling and project her imagination onto the real world. The Doctor would have battled wizards and witches to save the planet. Why well, why real? didn't that happen? Why didn't that happen? You know, that's 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 just sad. <sighs> I would like to see that. You know, they really the love their J.K. Rowling, and they might have thought, you know, this is not this is not acceptable. This is too funny. Right. She's, it's like we make, need it's to respect like making her. fun of the Pope or something. Right. You know, exactly. don't. She's untouchable. Right. So that about wraps it up for this episode <laughs> of Reddit Up. Make sure that you hang out and submit stuff in our subreddit r slash Reddit Up. That's it's easy to get yeah. to. We got Dancing Groot, made by Patrick Delahanty, submitted by Glenn Grenner. And for anybody who's 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 kind of new to subreddits, it's reddit.com slash r slash reddit up. Right. That is kind of you know, just like if you want to hang out on Reddit and hang out with our show, um, we'll post new episodes here. You can talk to monks yourselves, you can submit links. It's all, you know, it's 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 a it's it's our playground really. Right. It's our Reddit playground, and it's we a hope place to see for you there. Our community. Also, uh, on our on the Twit side of things, twit.tv slash ru or twit.tv slash Reddit, Reddit also works as well. Perfect. Um, where you can watch uh, past episodes. We're on episode three, episodes one and two. We thought were pretty fun. Also, and you can subscribe to the show. We have audio and video links there. Subscribing doesn't cost you a cent. Just means that the show, uh, when it's pushed out onto the internet, uh, will be delivered to you, and you can watch it however you desire on a small little smartphone, on a big screen, whatever you want to do. Yep. Whatever you want to do. player doesn't matter. Makes it as easy as possible. And I would say to all of our audio listeners, we love you. Thank you for being here. But, but this seriously. is kind of a visual show. <laughs> seriously, think about downloading the video. Consider the video. I mean, you know, if, if nothing more than to see what Chad's hair looks like week after oh, week. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was going to say the nice. awe of the week. Kind of, Thank it looks you. very nice. You Thank got you. a haircut. I did. Yeah, I it did. looks good. Thank it's you. Very, very stylish. Thanks. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and listening to this episode of Reddit Up. I'm Sarah Lane. I'm Chad Johnson. See you next time. Bye. Bye.